Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one to many relationship in Elasticsearch. I'm also going to be showing you about queries. It's usually hard when we come from SQL and we come to migrate to NoSQL, it's hard to believe that there's no join. So how do we model all these stuff, right? So when I started educating myself, reading more and more videos and watching reInvent videos on DynamoDB, so this started clicking up like, hey, if this concept exists in Dynamo, why not Elastic? Why not Mongo? Why not other NoSQL database? So here the example I'm about to take is one organization has many user. Each user has a lot of tickets and on, on uh, one tickets can be assigned to several user. So that's what we're going to model. We're going to write queries also in Elasticsearch to do that. Let's get started. So. Uh, remember, uh, when we want to do one to many, right? So the way you do that is here, if you see, I have an org called Amazon. Oh, let's do this one. Org has Amazon and each org has many users. So the way you define that is using an array of objects. So one, so let's try to read this with together, okay? So organization Microsoft has many users, right? Each user has many tickets, right? Right? So that's how you model that, right? So now you need to define the mapping in Elasticsearch. And by the way, the source code and all is there. So here I say the user is nested and type tickets is also nested. I define the mapping. And now it's show time to play, uh, play with queries, okay? So the first query that I wanna show you is, uh, first of all, I would like to insert some documents here and then show you the mapping and then talk about that. So the use cases, uh, Microsoft has two people, that is Saumil and Nitin, who has ticket number one and ticket number 121212, okay? These are the two tickets in uh, Microsoft. Uh, on the other hand, Amazon has two people as well, Raj and uh, Saumil. Saumil works in Amazon and Microsoft both, right? So here, Saumil is working on 12345 ticket, and um, uh, the ticket number uh, Raj is working on is 1234. So two people have been simulated, a different organization. Each org has many user, each user has many tickets, right? Now, if you observe here, what I'm doing is, um, give me the documents where the org is Microsoft. So query bool must, org is Microsoft, very simple, uh, should give you the, uh, the result, right? So I should have one document or one hit here, as you can see, which is what I had. Now let's spin up the game. Give me all the tickets for the user Saumil. Now remember, Saumil is in two organization, Microsoft and Amazon, I should see two documents. How do we write the query? So you use the word uh, query, then you say nested because you're trying to query the nested. Each nested takes a path, path is user because I'm going inside the user entity. Uh, then I'm saying query, bool and must, uh, must means an and operator. And then here I'm saying user.first is Saumil. So if I hit that, remember two documents should come in return. So one and two, right? And if I show you the org name as well, so the first is essentially Amazon. This essentially query shows, give me all the ticket for a particular, uh, for a particular organization. So here I see, uh, you know, I got ticket number one, two, three, four, five. Saumil is working on that ticket in, in Amazon. And in Microsoft, Saumil is working on ticket number, I guess one, right? Yeah. But if you want to filter down to a particular source attribute in the inner source, you could say source. And you can very well say ticket numbers. And if you do that, uh, I think I messed up the syntax because I have to uh, go all the way from the source. So I have it here. So let me copy this here and then show you on the upper query. So uh, we were on this query, right? This, uh, this one right here. So now if I want to just see the ticket numbers, I can very well do that. And here you can see ticket number one, two, three, four, five and ticket number one, right? So give me all the tickets for the user Saumil. I was able to do that. Okay, now the next query is give me all the user who are assigned to ticket number one. Show me who are assigned to ticket number one. So remember, an org has many user or user has many tickets, right? So now same thing, nested, user, query. And now see, it's a nested inside a nested, right? So now we say path user.tickets, query user.tickets.ticket dot ticket number is one. And then I'm showing you the first name. So who are the user who was assigned ticket number one? Well, Saumil and Nitin are the two person who are assigned on ticket number one. Okay, that makes sense, all right. So now, last, last query, then this should be it, right? Give me all the user in Microsoft and ticket number one. So how do you model this, right? So the way you write the query is you write a bull section, you write a must section, must means an and operator. This will have two queries. So org is Microsoft and uh, nested user path, and here I'm saying ticket number as one. See how I'm writing queries, right? So if I run this query, 
I should see two two people as expected, right? Nitin and Saumil are the people who are working on ticket number one in Microsoft. So you see, like you could technically do one to one, one to many, many to many in Elasticsearch too. Uh, a nice exercise would be to follow would be always put down an Excel sheet, put down, write down your entities, and always write down your access pattern. Get me all the orgs with a particular name. Get me all the user in an org. Get me all the tickets for a user or for a given user, show me all the tickets. So I wrote all my access pattern. Then I essentially, you wanna follow this exercise, right? You wanna write what is nested and what is not and what is keyword and what is not. So this exercise will essentially help us to understand the relation, right? Then you can model your entity. So for example, you know, an org has many users. User has many tickets, right? This is one way to do one to many. Uh, there are other ways as well where you could essentially have the document ID here and then you can query the secondary index. That's also another way you could do that. But I really wanted to bring this uh, video to you guys because there is no currently video on YouTube which shows one to one, one to many, many to many and also the queries in Elasticsearch. So I, I, I am pretty sure this is going to benefit a lot of people because I get queries about Elasticsearch every now and then. Hey, Samuel, how do I do this? How do I do that? So this is how you would do stuff in Elasticsearch. Hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I'll leave all the code snippets in the description so you can see how I have written each and every queries. In order to learn, you must try, not watch. So when you get a chance, open up your Elasticsearch on local, lo, uh, local machine and then run these queries and see it yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. Keep smiling, keep programming and see you guys 